in the studio. Honorable Adamo Garuba, he is a former presidential aspirant and a former federal lawmaker. He's here to help us look ahead to the 10th Assembly, of course, as uh, the horse trading continues. Thank you for being here, Honorable Garuba. And of course, I know you've been quite vocal with regards to where the zone you prefer. You have actually said that the Northwest should produce the next Senate president of Nigeria because according to you, that is the region that gave your party, the APC, the largest number of votes. But talk to us why you feel this is the best criteria to decide who becomes the president of the Senate. You see, um, if you look at, um, um, thank you, by the way, I'm not that former federal lawmaker, but a person that shared my name. Adam right. Talwa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, right. yes. So let me, I just want to Thank correct you for that. that clarification. You know, um, again, um, you see, we need to um, appreciate democracy in Nigeria. We've come a long way from 1999, and that a lot of stability has been, have been achieved from the executive to legislative and to judiciary. And if you look at even the countries surrounding us um, um, within the sub African region, or even sub Saharan Africa generally, there is no country that is as stable as Nigeria when it comes to democracy. I think we have gone far. And we should be able to learn our lessons, you know, from history, our failures, and our successes, and be able to correct them as we move forward. And these are one of the most reasons why I am pushing for the Northwest to take over the helm of this Senate presidency. It is high time for us to be rewarding performance to be rewarding competency and to pay attention to the zone of influence in all our appointments. The moment you keep consolidating or um, kind of distributing position to places where there is failure, you are like incentivizing failure. Why are you going to carry Senate presidency to the zone? For instance, let me say South is that gave us 1.5 percent of the total vote that produced the presidency. Or maybe if you go back to the South South, that gave us 8.7 percent. Meanwhile, the Northwest gave 30 percent. 30% of the total vote that produced the presidency is coming from the Northwest. So therefore, it is very, very important for us to ensure that we produce the Senate presidency from the zone where we get mass, so that we can keep appreciating more for giving us more, as much as possible, so that the next time when we come to ask for them, they will give us more because we have appreciated their giving. But the situation whereby we carry it to dump in a place where we did not get the value that we are supposed to so get. you're saying now it's mm. about the party politics that should pretend over the wish of Nigeria and I ask you that marry that with the fact that does mm. religion not matter anymore because as it stands right now the president elect is a Muslim yes the vice president elect is a Muslim mm. and you're pushing for the Northwest and of course looking at all those who've indicated their interest they're all Muslims as well yeah Northwest is a zone and in National Assembly politics we don't have anything called um, religion Right? It is something that has to do with the zone of power because most of those representatives come to represent zones in their state. So you need to look at it based on these zones and you have to also appreciate the key performance indicators that gave us the win. Because if we don't win election, we can't sit and be talking this way here. So as much as possible, we have to incentivize the area where we get our votes as much as possible, especially can. You know, Kano is the state where we always regularly record the highest amount of votes in this country. And now it was clear that we are likely, or, or, uh, there are, with, with the outcome of the last election, we've lost Kano. Even though we get about 513,000 votes, but we lost Kano. But then we have a senator from that same Kano who was able to defeat the Konkwasiya tsunami that swept Kano and come to the center. So that is the kind of person we need to empower, we need to incentivize, so that we can reclaim Kano in 2027. Okay, now, we, you, the, yes. the, from, from what you've said so far, you're still going around and around on that, same, uh, on that same sport of your internal politics. Because you are saying that because uh, you got most of the votes in, in the elections from the Northwest, you're pushing for... Uh, someone from the Northwest to be the Senate president. Yeah. That's your internal politics. We're not disputing that. We're not against that. But what about the national interest? What about what's better for uh, the common good, the whole of the country, as against your internal politics? Shouldn't we be putting national interest ahead of internal politics of a party? You see, there is no better national interest than this. Politics is a game of numbers. And interest is determined by the number of participation. That's how it is determined. Those that participated has clearly indicated interest to belong. When I am not interested and you drag me into something, I will just corrupt it because I'm not interested. So in a situation where we're talking about national interest, we should look into that national interest from the point of 
appreciating performance and outcomes as opposed to just paying attention to some primordial interest about this Nigeria's configuration that has not worked. Don't forget, the same Saudis and South South, especially, let me, let me say South East, occupied almost five different Senate presidents in Nigeria. Has that stopped the agitations we are seeing? It does not stop the agitations. So what's it? What's, what's it what's the, the way forward is to solve the root cause of the problem. And the only way to solve the root cause of the problem is to appoint a strong government in place, an organized government, and appreciate those that have performed, so that tomorrow you can come back to power. So, so what's the assurance that the bringing a Senate president from the Northwest will stop such agitations? I think it is going to perfectly do that. Because you will have a united, consolidated, organized, government that are going to carry out the programs of the incoming government without any ranko. That is one of the most important so things. Are you so, saying mm. lawmakers from other regions cannot work hand in hand with the president elect they if can. they do they, not come from the northwest? They can, but they did not give us the results that should qualify them. To be able to win. Let me give you an example. Um, Oju Zokalo, I saw you on the TV, you know, mm -hmm. and that um, he scored about 47,000 votes to come back um, to the Senate. But the, our president, APC, scored 8,000 votes in the whole of Abia State. And then you carry the whole Senate presidency and take there. Well, we are talking about, again, let's go back to the South Side, let's go back to, um, to, to, to Akwaibo. You know, you get only like 87,000 votes where Akwaibo come from, in Akwaibo. But in Kano, one senator that emerged from there, Barao Jibrin, who me, I would prefer we, our party, to make sure that we nominate that man as the next Senate president. That man got 222,000 so votes. About Only his vote. Gives to the party, yes. not his uh, capability. He has capabilities. To, no, to now, actually now, head now, now, the now, 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 let me explain. So, what you. makes him qualified more than this other, uh, uh, those who, others who've indicated interest to head no. the Tenth Assembly? Because he all you're talking about one. is about party no, politics no, no, and one. not the competence of the senator you're pushing for. No, I think he's the most competent. Competent among all the leaders of the Senate. Why number do you one, think so? Why? Number one, he's a ranking, he's the only ranking senator among all the ones that have declared to aspire for the presidency. And if you know the Senate very well, even the sitting arrangements is defined by ranking. Even the sitting arrangement. And this is a global system. That is how it is obtained in the US. That's how it's obtained in all the places that practice our kind of democracy. That is why somebody like Joe Biden was a senator for 42 years. So when you have bank of experience, you have to reward this bank of experience with the responsibility so that you don't go and bring new bees or governors that are just coming to retire in Senate to drive the policy of your country. You don't need that. We need career senators, people that are ready, people that are built for National Assembly position, people that can deliver the outcome. Like Senator Barrow Jibril. Career he, senators, the cool yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, we'll wait and see how things play out and see if uh, the APC will zone it, you know, talking about the Senate presidency to the no Northwest. West. We'll wait and see. But for now, we'll have to say thank you so much to you, Adamu Garba, of course, uh, a former presidential aspirant. Thank you for joining us. Thank much. you for having me. Thank you.